everyone. This is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things. Today I have a card to share with you using the Blueprint 26 die set. This is a really quick and easy card design that doesn't require any coloring. So the first thing that I did is I took this frame die from the set, which cuts this stitched frame with rounded corners on the top or on the bottom, whichever way you decide to put it on your card. And I cut that out of some dark blue cardstock. And then I grabbed a patterned piece of paper from the diagonal gingham paper pad. And I used one of the blue ones for that. And I cut just the top of the frame out of that. And right now I'm cutting just the bottom of the frame out of a piece of white cardstock. All right, so I've got that patterned paper piece that I cut. And I'm gonna take this other die from the set, which is shaped like the bottom of a balloon. And I'm going to line that up where I want it on my card and tape it down with some post-it tape. And then I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. And next I'm going to take the white piece of cardstock that I cut the bottom of the frame out of, and I'm going to line it up on the blue background and figure out where I want to place my sentiment. This sentiment is also from that same die set. It's a really great die set for birthday cards. As you can see, this is a birthday sentiment that is on a line. So it will cut a line across and the letters will be sitting on top of that line. I thought that it would be more interesting to put it kind of on a slant, kind of mimicking the slant that I did on the balloon above. So I cut that out and then I grabbed the balloon that I cut out and I wanna add just some shading to the bottom of this. So I'm using a blending brush and I'm using Distress Oxide ink in the color Broken China. And I'm just blending very softly along the bottom edge of that. And it's going to make that balloon look so much better. But that patterned paper does have kind of a glossy surface. So I did let that dry for a while so that I wouldn't have any problems with that ink getting smudged. For my card base, I needed to round the edges on the top because my background panel has round edges on the top. So in order to do that, I have my top folding card base here. I traced the panel on top of it with pencil, and then I just cut along those pencil lines. Actually, I cut just a little bit in from those pencil lines so that none of the white will show when I adhere this panel on top. You could of course do this with a corner rounder if you have the right size and your cardstock isn't too thick. My cardstock was just a little bit too thick to use a corner rounder because I'm using 110 pound cardstock. And of course, because it's a card base, it is doubled up so it's even thicker. I popped up the birthday sentiment piece on the bottom with some foam tape. And then I also popped up the balloon on the top. Now this die set does come with a happy sentiment die. It is a cursive scripty happy, and you could totally use that for this card, but I decided I wanted to change things up a little bit. And instead I grabbed this stamp from the itty bitty birthday stamp set, which says happy, happy, happy. And I stamped that with Versamark ink onto some green cardstock and I'm embossing it with some white embossing powder. I grabbed a sentiment die and I die cut this out and then I just want to hit this with just a tiny bit of ink along the bottom edge. I thought that I wanted the white from the letters to stand out a little bit more so I wanted to darken up the green a little bit. I'm using Mowed Lawn Distress Oxide ink here and I just put just a very small amount of that. I used foam tape to adhere that right above the birthday sentiment. And then I cut out the bow and the string for the balloon, which are in the same die set. And I cut those out of some sparkly white cardstock. And I, I thought I wasn't gonna use the string, so that's why I didn't put it until now. It would have been a lot easier to adhere it before adding the sentiments, but because I decided to now, I had to kind of work around them. 
So I, I glued those on with some liquid adhesive and then I grabbed some sequins and I spread them across the card on the background and I glued those down and then this card is all done. Super easy card design as long as you know how to die cut. This die set does most of the work for you and it was really quick as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this card design and that it gave you some inspiration for your own cards. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next time.